Valerie here with a demonstration of the wonderful software Artisteer, which now comes in a Mac version if you're a Mac user. I previously used it on my Windows machine, and it was enough reason to want to keep a Windows machine around. Let me tell you, this is easy to do. Now, what I've done here, actually, I've just opened Artisteer, and the only reason I sized the window and got this far was because I wanted it to fit my uh, screen capture. Anyway, if you click... Uh, new document, you would start off with this getting started and it would let you choose the template you want to start with Blogger, Joomla, WordPress, Drupal, .NET, Nuke, which I have no idea what that is. Anyway, I primarily do WordPress and Blogger templates and usually WordPress, I find them as a great jumping off point uh, to add extra features to them and also because it works so well with Blogger, that's where I'm going to start right here and that's what I had up in this. Now this is sort of a default generic, let's throw some features in there. This has some wonderful ideas. Suggest design, which is, it's going to go through and just give me random options here. Now you could go through this and click and click and click and get all sorts of options. You can actually also say, well I like this design, let's just suggest colors. And it'll give you colors. Suggest fonts different font options. Suggest layout. Which way is it going to go? Suggest background. Um, and you don't have to just collect the suggest. This is the wonderful part. Suggest sheet, different options, suggest header, all these wonderful things. This is just the idea generator. This is a good jumping off place. Um, I always customize everything. I want to pick a color theme. I am going to go with, let's see, just something fun. Oh, these things all look good together. I'm going to go for, and this is really being random here, Safari. Now I have it clicked. It's changed to that uh, without me clicking. If I mouse off of this, it'll go back to what it was. Uh, just so you can see what things are looking like, what things are going to look like as you go. Uh, Mustang, Spring Breath. Well, we're almost spring. I'm gonna say that doesn't look like spring breath to me. I actually do. I'm thinking spring. Um, Savannah, well, that's sort of deserty, isn't it? Uh, let's see. I, I really have have um, morning, yeah, morning Christmas, Christmas. Those are nice spring like colors. Okay, I'm good with that. Now you can further adjust these. If you have custom colors, say for a logo, you could actually click in here. Click colors and put the hex code or the uh, the RGB code in there to pick out the color that you want. Uh, for purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to leave these. Uh, suggest fonts. I'm more picky. I'm not going to just take suggest fonts. And it really depends on the uh, the use of the template, which fonts I'm going to use. If it's very corporate-y looking uh, financial planner, I'm probably going to use Time, Times New Roman uh, and Arial or uh, the news version. Those are nice. If it's a very casual kind of a uh, website. I'm probably going to go with a sans serif. Those are less less formal. Uh, typography, again, this is you can choose anything. This is justified right and left, less justified, small, large, centralized. I'm just going to go with simple in this case. Font scale. Now font scale is a particular thing because it really depends on the monitor people are using, but if you do have an older audience, you might want to pick a larger font scale. If you're, you know, you're, if you're catering toward the over 40 crowd, you know, so they can see it better. Anyway, um, like I said, for purposes of this demonstration, let's go ahead and leave it at 100. Now we can go to layout. Page layout, now we get to decide where we want the header, whether we want the header first and then the menu, the menu first and the header, just a header, just a menu, and none at all. Um, let's say I'm going to go with a standard almost web, website-y kind of look because most of the sites that I build uh, do start off as websites with a blog added. Now column, I am a column on the right kind of a gal, that's just me. Now you can have this are different widths of columns with left columns, right columns, left and right columns, both columns on the right, both columns on the left, uh, all sorts of things to choose from. Let's go with a medium sized column on the right. There we go. Uh, let's see, search position. I generally am going to do these all by widgets, so I don't really worry too much about uh, rather these. These will be default things if you don't use any sidebar widgets. 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and leave them the way they are because I always use sidebar widgets. All right, now let's move on to background. And we can click here and we can see the tons of backgrounds that are choices here. I mean, I just think this is just phenomenal, the choices that you have. Let's go with something. Ooh, this is kind of grassy. I had sort of a springy thing in mind. Eh, maybe not. That's kind of too far down on the bottom. Um, just texture. Mm, yeah, maybe the grass, but what's this? A little more texture here. Yeah, I like that texture. Okay. Uh, and you can have a glare if you want. Now, there's tons of glares to look for. Some of them are more contemporary. Some of them are wild. Some of them are very organic. There's musical templates. I'm not doing musical. I am going springy, though, so I think I want to pick uh, something earthy. Now, you don't have to have a glare at all. Um, like I said, if you have a corporate site, maybe you don't want to have a glare. I like that earthy look. Uh, I've got flowers and stuff. It goes with my spring feel that I'm trying to come up with. Now you can also have an image or texture in the background and that adds even further to the uh, the background that's going on. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Down at the bottom, that doesn't quite match the floral that I have going at the top, but I bet you this will. Let's see what we have here. A little light. Let's try this one. Uh, I can adjust the light. I'm not quite sure about that, but as you can see, there's just tons of options to choose from to really get some uh, depth to your thing. There's, uh, you know, weaving and caning and bricks to really add some texture to the whole uh, background of the website. Let's see. Oh, let's see what this is. <laughs> as you can see, this is real time. I am not making this up. I'm not... Uh, trying to figure this out. That's not quite going to work for one. Wait, what's this one? Let's see. Eh, not quite the right kind of a flower look for what I have going on. Let's go back up into some earthy textures. Let's see what we have. And you don't have to have a texture either. You can absolutely leave these things plain. Um, let's try this. These are very, very light textures on my background because the background I have uh, picked is very light. I'm going to go ahead and just pick that one. Um, let's move over to, uh, and then we can have a gradient. This is all layered on top of layers, so it's really wonderful. If you want to darken things up, I think I have too uh, light of a background for this to really pop. Simple header, and what that'll do is it will put the gradient behind uh, the header right there. I think I'm going to back up one. I'm not going to, I'm not happy with the colors because I feel like I've got, they're just too light and I'm not seeing anything. Let's darken them. Make them a little con more contrasty. There we go. All right. Now we'll go back into the background and I'm going to go ahead and pick a gradient. Light to dark. And fill color. It might be my, what are my options here? Transparency, that's why. Okay. The overlay. Ah, see, I got that overlay in the bottom darkened up. Okay, and rotate, flip, scrolling, now fixed. Wow, they've added some extra extra feels. <laughs> and the gradient, ah, the height of the gradient, the contrast of the gradient, which for whatever reason, the gradient's not showing up, and it might be that it's the Mac version. It was actually in beta. All right, let's go to sheet. Let's go back out of here. I don't want this uh, top gap up here so much. That's way too high. So I can say without ops offset, which means the header is going to bump right up to the top. And why am I? Go ahead and click some stuff. Okay, sorry about that. I had to stop for a second. I had not activated this copy of Art of Steer. <laughs> um, once again, we're in the sheet section. We can choose all sorts of options here. We can choose the uh, style of the sheet, whether we want rounded corners or glows, how wide the glow we want. And when you mouse over, you get to see the sample of it. And that's sort of a nice look. Okay. Uh, we can also adjust the width. I like a wide, uh, a wide blog. I'm not so big about the offset, but with a rounded edge, 